1979, there was an unusual incident reported by Stephen Smith, a resident of Laurer, Maryland. He woke up to a clicking sound resembling that of a door lock. After checking around the house, he found no signs of an intruder and the front door was locked. Later during breakfast, his son Bobby, age six, told him that he had flown in an airship during the night with big-eyed people and that other children were there too. These people showed them pictures, but he could not remember much else. Bobby's parents assumed he had been dreaming, and in the evening, Bobby could not recall any further details about his experience. This remains a mysterious disappearance that has never been fully explained. A month later, the story repeated itself. The six-year-old Bobby talked about the strange big-eyed people again. Bobby said that the people were teaching him, but he couldn't explain what they were teaching him. One night, the street lights flickered, and the family heard the familiar sound of a door lock. The couple rushed to the window and noticed a blue glow illuminating the roofs of low buildings. Suddenly, an oval-shaped object rose from a vacant lot and accelerated before flying towards the northeast. The concerned parents went to Bobby's room and attempted to wake him. But the shocked father found that his arm had passed through the sleeping boy's body. Stunned, Stephen Smith called the paramedics, police, and fire department. But when they arrived, the ghostly boy had vanished without a trace. This mysterious disappearance has yet to be explained fully, and it remains one of the most intriguing cases of its kind. Initially, the parents were blamed for their son's disappearance, as he was the only one at home with them. However, the situation was resolved when the real Bobby was found sleeping in his bed. The child claimed to have been taken by aliens on a flying ship, and it seemed that they had left a duplicate in his place. The fate of children taken by aliens remains a mystery, as they often return with stories of being taught unknown knowledge in schools or aboard flying ships. Experts believe that children are unable to fabricate such stories, unlike adults. Rostov resident Viktor Solodov shared a peculiar story about a his four-year-old son, Ivan. According to Solodov, Ivan insists that he attends school at night where green teachers teach him and his classmates. Allegedly, the teachers twirl around in the center of the circle and quickly say something while the children sit in a circle and listen. Despite paying close attention, Ivan cannot understand or remember what the teachers say. At first, Solodov and his wife dismissed the story as a dream, but the frequency and detail of Ivan's account are surprising, especially for a young child. The curious case has left Solodov puzzled and wondering if anyone else has had similar experiences. Famous ufologist James Harder, who is also the director of research for the Aerial Phenomena Research Organization, APRO, presented some surprising statistics at a symposium in Albuquerque. Among UFO abductees, he found that a significant portion were children. However, it's difficult to exactly determine the number since most of the reports come after the children are adults. The statistics paint a curious and somewhat disturbing picture. Why are children being targeted specifically by these extraterrestrial beings? It's a question that even the foreign scientists studying UFOs do not yet have a clear answer to. However, many ufologists believe the darker assumption that aliens use children to obtain biological material necessary to sustain their own life. This raises many ethical questions, and many have argued that it is immoral for extraterrestrial beings to abduct and experiment on humans, let alone children. The lack of understanding of aliens and their motives has led to fear and paranoia among some people, while others find it fascinating and are eager to learn more. Despite the lack of concrete evidence and answers, stories of alien abductions continue to fascinate people all around the world. Some skeptics argue that these experiences are simply hallucinations or false memories, while believers argue that the phenomenon is real and requires further investigation. Nonetheless, the idea of aliens specifically targeting children raises many concerns about the ethics of alien intervention and has sparked many debates in the scientific community. As more research is conducted and more evidence is collected, perhaps we'll gain a better understanding of this baffling phenomenon. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out other amazing stories.